Afternoon, it's a deal for Zal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday, Australia, starting the 23rd of October 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, Signal's market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and certainly download the app like the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, looking at the uh, stats here, US markets certainly buoyant uh, into the close on a, on a Friday, certainly finishing higher, breaking into new highs. You have the SP now breaking at 25. 75 level into 2576 after hours is currently trading at 2577 and you have the dow jones roaring again 25 uh it's about 23300 level and it certainly continues on in terms of the uh, euro european session today we've had uh FTSE finishing up eight points or not finishing but still currently trading up eight points the german dax certainly buoyant on the back of bundesbank certainly stronger earnings there a stronger uh, growth forecast there cac certainly higher as well uh, the IBEX is probably only laggard, and that's due to the Catalan concerns over Catalonia. In terms of Asian markets, the Nikkei continues to power ahead with the Mr. Abe, obviously with a two-third majority now. Hang Seng didn't actually close down 0.6% weaker, and the, and the Shanghai certainly closed fa flat. So uh, that's the status quo there. In terms of um, European markets, again, like I said, you have concerns with regards to Catalonia. You have concerns with regards to uh, QE being diminished as well. This makes uh, certainly... Uh, Although it is uh, being extended in terms of its duration, it certainly is being uh, reduced by almost 50%. And therefore, that certainly is, from my perspective, is, is euro positive and therefore, obviously, is, uh, is risk negative for European equities. The uh, stronger growth forecast by the Bundesbank certainly has helped European equities this morning. In terms of other economic data, let's look quickly going through it with you. Uh, today, uh, this morning, really, it was only the uh, German uh, Buber monthly report certainly that's anything that was really of any major importance. You have had UK data certainly coming week coming in week this morning. You've had uh, CBI industrial trend survey certainly coming on the weaker side. Chicago Fed out national activity just came out and that certainly came in on the stronger side. And that's it really. It certainly is a barren day in terms of economic data. Okay, uh, we did have Chinese um, uh, trade data certainly or Chinese trade balance data certainly coming out coming in slightly stronger than expected. And that certainly helps sentiment to a large extent as well. Okay, so that's the status quo at present, okay? Uh, in terms of uh, the technical picture, let's quickly go through that with you as well. The German DAX, uh, let's go to the daily chart, it remains bullish on the uh, daily, uh, although the uh, the inside bar certainly is playing out thus far. It has been quite volatile to, to date, to say the least. As you can see here, we oscillate higher, we break, high, uh, break lower, and uh, the German DAX certainly has been quite volatile today. We broke high up to 13, so 64.74. Uh, although having said that, we've still held up Fib 75%. 10 minute chart on the German DAX, it really is trading everywhere at the moment. It's quite volatile. Uh, obviously, initially we certainly had weakness. Uh, before that weakness, obviously, translated into strength. We powered high to 13,070, back into that key resistance zone. Okay, then we reversed quite sharply, almost 50, 60 pips. And, and now we're certainly pushing higher as well. So it certainly seems like the key resistance level is around that 13,070. We failed to go back above that 13,100 zone again. Okay, certainly is showing weakness in terms of Europe. And from my perspective, again, like I said, certainly indicating weakness there as well. Okay, in terms of the French CAC, let's look at the French CAC at the moment. Certainly is showing strength on the French CAC. A 60-minute chart has broken out to new highs, so you have to respect that to a large extent with higher highs and higher lows. 10-minute chart, at the moment we are now hitting the double top intraday. Let's see how the market reacts there and responds. Okay, so again, looking for resistance there. The daily chart has closed out key resistance. Our key resistance was at 3409. Certainly have closed that now. Okay, so just bear that in mind in terms of the next potential move there as well. Okay, Euro stocks. Let's look at Euro stocks well, before we move on to the FTSE 100. Okay, bringing up the Euro stocks here. The daily chart, the Euro stocks in the moment, you are now into key horizontal resistance. You do have the unfilled gap at 34642. Very hard for it to hit that, especially given the fact that you have Euro strength, or expected Euro strength, the back of obviously ECB, certainly coming back in terms of, of, of certainly tapering, okay? And also the concerns over Catalonia as well. Double top certainly has held at 3.625, looking for that to hold. And 10 minute chart certainly has pushed higher, very impressively, close the gap. And we are now into resistance here, here, and here, okay? So multiple resistance zones. And again, looking for a lower high, and then obviously looking for a lower low. In terms of FTSE 100, before I finish, okay, FTSE 100 really has been trading sideways daily chart ever since we put in the key resistance around the 7550, 7560 zone, as you can see at topping till the day before. Uh, really has been a series of lower lows and lower highs. I wouldn't say lower lows, but certainly lower highs, okay. Just connecting that together and again, looking for a lower high again, looking to make a potential lower low, okay. So that's the status quo with regards to the FTSE 100. 10 minute chart really is trading sideways. 
we did have that initial thrust higher in the morning okay then it certainly petered out okay so you certainly have resistance here 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 okay uh, again looking for a potential retest that pivot low at 7.510 and then obviously potentially even low okay so that's the status quo your oil prices certainly remain uh, buoyant at 52 uh, copper prices certainly have found a base at 314 certainly pushing higher okay uh, dollar still remains bullish and certainly remains strong at present on the back of obviously tax cut hopes uh, okay and potential tax reform and it certainly seems that all focuses on the uh, the qe although we do have the three candidates powell walsh and walsh and uh, miss yellen certainly in the running and let's see how how that unfolds as well okay so i think that's a good summation of european indices from my perspective certainly looking for weakness in the back of catalonia and obviously ecb qe policy being pulled back or certainly being paired back be sure to visit cfds.com specialist prep betting a cfd brokerage and uh, certainly take advantage of that bonus goodbye